Hello friends, I'm Zanzan the Gamer Man with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Flying Goblin. Flying Goblin is a 2-4 player game played within about 30 minutes. Designed by Quentin Libret and Theo Rivera. Published by ILO. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And how the goal of the game is to collect gems or build your totem. Now, let's get going. Set up. For the first game, put together walls on top of the floor to form the rooms. Next, place roofs, tower, balcony, and king. Split one coins into the rooms with the one coin symbol. Do the same for the two coins and gems. Each player takes a catapult, army board, and two goblin soldiers in their color. All other goblins and totems will go on the army board. How to play. Play has four phases. Catapulting phase. Catapult your goblins at one time into the castle. If your goblin lands in your area, you can shoot them again. When you are out of goblins, say finish. After all, but at least, but the last player says finished, the round is over and the player gets one last catapulting chance. Looting phase. If you make the king fall, retrieve the balcony tile and put it in front of you. You know, you now get an extra two rubies from getting into the king's bedchamber. Collect one diamond for each robber left on the roof and retrieve any that have fallen. Retrieve all other goblins and apply ca the castle effects for the rooms you landed in when applicable. Reposition totem levels, goblin, robber, or king's pawn. The person who knocked the king down gets to choose which roof to place him. E end of game condition phase. Check if all four totem levels are still on the roof, or if a player has 20 diamonds in a two-player game, or 25 diamonds in a three- or four-player game. That player is the winner. If there is a tie, the person who has the most diamonds win. If there is still a tie, the tie players share the victory. Win. Recruitment phase. Players can only buy one goblin or totem level per round, unless a goblin lands in the armory, which gives an owner an extra purchase ability. Goblin robbers are placed on any available roof. If they are full, you cannot buy a robber. Totem levels must be purchased from lowest level up. Then, begin the next round. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm just trying to... I didn't even see that one go. But I also I like this game because you're able to fly the goblins in. You have to you start with only two goblins and you can build up your army of goblins and you have to build a totem. It's hard to build it gets harder and harder and harder. It goes three, three, four, and then five coins. 